Praise the Lord. Cavalry greetings to you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to a brand new month. Your month of greatness, your month of elevation, your month of open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have seen this month, God Almighty will open unto you his floodgates and pour out his blessings upon you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to listen to this testimony. Is there anything you are going through in your life? Is there any difficulty you are going through? Is there any situation that you are going through? Trust in the Lord. Believe in him. Have that confidence in him that it will come true for you. Have you been praying for a particular situation and it's not going? Why not praise God? Why not glorify his name? His word says, come into his presence with praise. Give him praise. And before you know it, we have a breakthrough. Do you remember when the children of Israel were trying to enter their Jericho? There was a wall, a wall, a wall of Jericho. And God told them to just march around that wall for seven days. And on the seventh day, they should shout, just shout. And their wall of Jericho fell down. Every wall surrounding your situation will fall this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to this testimony. Share it with others to encourage them. God bless you. Praise the Lord. It's obvious I don't need to say so much. But pastor, please indulge me. The entire church knows my testimony. The worst thing that can happen to anyone is when nobody knows your problem. If you go to the hospital and they tell you you have malaria, lift up your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Because when you keep going to the hospital and they keep telling you nothing is wrong, and it's obvious that something is not coming forth, what do you treat? What do you treat? What do you take? There is nothing I did not do. Ten years. One full decade. There was nothing. Name it. I will tell you when. Where. How and who I did it with. I went to Orioke in Osho State. I prayed. I came back. Efia. I went to Sapled. They massage stomach, arrange womb. I came back. Efia. I went to Seluku. They make herb, do everything. I came back. Efia. I went to Enugu down the hill with the purest of spring water. It was gushing out from the hill. They made herbs. I drank. Efia. I abused fertility drug. I'm living here today is God. I abused fertility drug. There is nothing I did not drink. Let me just be passing and they say, eh, if you drink this one, it will work. I will not even ask you what you are saying. I will just go and look for it and drink. Because it has to work. I did follicular tracking. We track. We track. I will call, I will get to the, the, the lab. They will say, ah, right now the egg is releasing. I will call my husband. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, leave it. Start coming home now. He will come home and such delivery are under pressure. Sometimes you will not be able to deliver. But you don't have a choice. When you are looking for something, you go mental. It was crazy. I did IUI, a fear. I did IVF, a fear. How? How? That was where I lost my mind. I literally went mental. Pastor Danny, God bless you. God bless you. One of those days I was in my house, I was crying. And my phone rang, it was Pastor Danny. I was like, why is Pastor Danny calling me? I called her back, she was like, Linda, it's not you I wanted to call. But obviously there's a reason why I'm calling you. He said, for whatever it is that is a burden onto you, he said, God is going to change it. But honestly, as at that stage of my life, I was a zombie. So there was nothing she was saying that I was hearing. I just said, amen, let it not look like Pastor's wife prayed. And I did not see amen. I was going mental. After my IVF failed, my husband became afraid. I was having nightmares. I was having panic attacks. I was, oh God, baby, God bless you. I was a thorn to my husband's flesh. I gave my husband hell and high waters. If he wakes up in the morning and he greets me good morning, he takes a pause because he doesn't know the response I will give him. He doesn't know how it will be kind to people. Be kind to people. Clothes covers a lot of things. You see me in church dancing. You don't know what is happening in the inside. 
I came to church that day myself, my mother, and my sister after my IVF failed. We were sitting in that position where I usually sat. And choir sang this victory song. That was the day the damn book. I cried like I was mad. I was crying. My mother was crying. My elder sister, she's here. She was sitting beside us there. She was crying. Please, if you were sitting around us that day, please look at us. We are here now. This was the reason why we were winning. I was crying like I was mad. My mother kept telling me, say, Linda, I gave birth to you. You will give birth to children. He said, you will give birth to children and you will say you don't want to give birth to children anymore. But honestly, she wasn't talking to me. Because I'd gotten to that point in my life where I'd given up, given in, given out. I was fed up. I was broken. I was shattered. I was destroyed. There was nothing left in the inside of me. And I woke up January 2022. I told my husband, I am done. Both with this marriage, both with everything, I am done. I emptied my prophetic wardrobe. I carried it up. I brought up my certificate. I said, my mama, they talk something. He said, if you know they here, you they here. If I know she became born, at least make I do something with my life. February of that year. Hallelujah challenge came. This is my shaking. My husband asked me, baby, should I subscribe for you? I said, I don't want to leave me alone. On that night, that hallelujah challenge, that 12 midnight, my eyes popped open. I picked up my shakiri and I became another man. I danced like I was stupid. There was nothing about my life that was danceable. But I was dancing like I was mad. I danced for 22 days stretch, 12 midnight to 1 a.m., sometimes 2 a.m. I was dancing. After hallelujah challenge, 90 hours stretch, uninterrupted of praise for that year, boy. I entered into it and I started dancing. As I was dancing, I was getting weaker. I didn't know the Lord had done it. I thought it was because I wasn't sleeping. I thought it was because I wasn't resting. I was dancing, there were bags under my eyes. I would dance, sometimes I would feel lightheaded. I didn't know the Lord had done it. After the praise, I just sat down and that voice came. Linda, are you aware that you have not seen your period this month? I said, it's a lie. I went and I checked. I did the test from lab in FM. You know when you have a problem, sometimes you don't know the entire world knows your problem. From the lab in FMC, that was where the celebration started from. Everybody, the woman that did it, she started dancing. She said, buy me more, buy me more. I, I said, buy you more. What is buy you more? She said, buy me more. When I collected the result, I looked at it. I gave her money. I said, don't that fire more. Drink wine. What is more? We danced. And I have come to return glory. To this God, Jehovah Obadu, my reproach taker, my name changer, my status changer, my shoulder part, thou my glory and the lifter of my head, the one who has changed my name, the one who has taken shame away, the one who has taken reproach away, the one who has indeed proven to the world that I am not a witch, the one that has proven to the world that I don't need my children, the one that he alone can give children. Money did not buy it. I spent millions of naira. It did not buy it. Nothing could buy it. Oh, my mother prayed. My mother-in-law prayed. But it wasn't for me first. But when Jehovah over me, said it was time, and he did it with me, he did not ask for anything in return. I have come to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus.